Today's video, we are going to continue our discussion on integration problem and this time, we are going to find the integral of sine ln x. So how can we find the antiderivative of sine ln x dx? So to simplify this one, let us use u substitution. So let us set u as ln x and du, that is the derivative of ln x which is 1 over x dx. And to isolate dx, let us multiply both sides by x. So let us cancel this one. So the value of dx is x du. So let us have the antiderivative of sine u and dx, that is x du. Since we have x in our given, we are going to eliminate this one by having e raised to u equals e raised to ln x. Since e raised to ln x is equal to x. Therefore, we can say that e raised to u is equal to x. So this will be the value of x. So let us have the antiderivative of sine u and x that is e raised to u du. So let us write this one as the antiderivative of e raised to u sine u du. And then let us use integration by parts. So by using uv minus the antiderivative of v du, I'm going to use a b minus the antiderivative of b da. So the value of a that is u and the value of b that is v and du that is da. So I'm going to set a as a raised to u and then da, that is the derivative of e raised to u, which is e raised to u du. And then we have dv, that is sine u du. And then the value of b, that is the integral of sine u, which is negative cosine u. So let us have ab minus the antiderivative of b da. So the value of a that is e raised to u and b that is negative cosine u minus the antiderivative of b that is negative cosine u and da that is e raised to u du. So let us write this one as negative e raised to u cosine u negative times negative that's positive and then e raised to u cosine u du. So I'm going to use integration by parts to simplify this one. So I'm going to write as negative e raised to u cosine u plus the quantity of a b minus the antiderivative of b da. So I'm going to set a as e raised to u and then da that is the derivative of e raised to u which is e raised to u du and db that is cosine u du and b that is the integral of cosine u which is sine u so let us have negative e raised to u cosine u plus a that is e raised to u and then b that is sine u minus the antiderivative of b that is sine u and da that is a raised to u du. So I'm going to write this one as negative a raised to u cosine u plus a raised to u sine u minus antiderivative of a raised to u sine u du. So as you can see, this part is same with our given. So what are we going to do is to equate this one. So I'm going to move this one on the other side of the equation. So I'm going to write this one first. Antiderivative of e raised to u sine u du. If you are going to move this one, this will be positive antiderivative of e raised to u sine u du equals, let us separate this one, negative e raised to u 
cosine u plus a raised to u sine u. And then I'm going to add this one. So I'm going to use another sheet of paper to simplify this one. So if you are going to add this one, this will be 2 antiderivative of a raised to u sine u du equals negative a raised to u cosine u plus a raised to u sine u. And then let us divide both sides by 2. Let's cancel this one. So the value of antiderivative of a raised to u sine u du is equal to negative one half e raised to u cosine u plus one half e raised to u sine u and then to simplify this one let us have negative one half e raised to u that is x and then cosine and the value of u that is ln x so this will be cosine ln x plus 1 half e raised to u that is x sine ln x then plus c and this will be our answer so i hope you've learned from this video thank you so much for watching and god bless us all